Greetings. I want us to get on today and talk about the Great Awakening, the spiritual awakening that is sweeping the globe, especially focused in the United States of America right now. That this process that is happening in this country and that will ripple out to the planet is is mirrored in the personal awakening journey. And so that's why at this time I can look out at what's happening. And though I may pull in to my personal womb kind of experience and focus on what's right in front of me more than the web and why I've pulled off of a lot of social media is because we are in a dark night of the soul collectively and physiologically if you watch some of my other videos about kundalini awakening it is a progressive journey of energy moving up an individual spine right and piercing each of the vortexes or the valves of consciousness that the chakras represent and when that happens the old belief structures from those chakra points come pouring out to be dealt with and released and integrated so that new, a new uh, bigger awareness can fit in that realm. And we have seven main centers, consciousness centers in the body that represent different areas, aspects of life, thinking. And um, each one has to be purified and upgraded. And of course, there's more after the seven, but so as we allow the world events to unfold and we take part in the spreading of the awarenesses, right? We are experiencing a dark night, which specifically means when we relate it to a person, when the Kundalini Shakti the life force energy pierces the second center, the second life force center. It is tied to ancestral lines. It's the karmic center that remembers and stores what happened in the lineage. Um, it is how satisfied we are with our reality. It was everything that came before us, which we're seeing in the movements in the USA right now, is that purification of that center in the United States of America. So that stuff comes up and out, and it can be damaging, look damaging, it can look explosive, it can look destructive. And yet, unfortunately, yes, there are people that are losing their lives because this is occurring and I send love and blessings out to anyone who has lost somebody during this collective awakening and that is part of the deal many lives signed up for that part of the awakening of planet earth and so I honor them I salute them even as great beings to move us forward but knowing what happens after that, what happens after a person's dark night, which sometimes can go on for a while, especially if there's a resistance to that energy being purified out. The best thing a person can do individually in their own awakening when that happens is to cultivate an observer attitude, a witness. Like remember you're watching a movie kind of attitude because you're the observer as well as the participator. But that observer attitude allows you to detach from the stuff that's purifying long enough for you to get that energy past that. And that's maybe why the most important reason that I'm jumping on today is to remind and encourage us to hold space for the Great Awakening. That we are participant and we are also the observers knowing this is not where it stops. It continues to move through the spinal cord of humanity, if you will. Which is funny, when someone's weak, you tell them to get a spine. 
So when someone's strong, they have a spine, they can hold themselves up. So as we collectively awaken and we purify and we become conscious of all that has been stuck in the patterning of, our, of us all, as a society, as a people, and we begin to get a spine about that, stand up, integrate, recognize what happened. Okay, if we're mature spiritually, then we can't deny anything happened. We can't make it go away. It doesn't make it better by shaming anyone about it. Instead, we just integrate and we go forward and we allow the cleansing process. We allow ourselves to get bigger in what we see for ourselves what we see as our ancestry, our family, that the second chakra represents. And we realize we are all each other's family. We are a human family. This is not a race war. This is not a nation to nation war. This is not a political party war. Really the war boils down to the separation that we initially felt from each other and from God, from source. As we all came from the one, we all feel this fracturing in us from that. So this is part of the healing that occurs when we can allow this old story out. And that's what's happening. The old story is coming out from underneath the covers, from out, from all the old hidden places. And sometimes we don't like when that shows back up. We don't like when it happens in our own life when we're trying to heal and something from our past shows back up that we need to deal with, we have to face, we have to integrate, we have to love that about ourselves too. So right now, I'm extending a big love to everyone in this country and everyone worldwide who's experiencing the pains of awakening, knowing this is not the end, this is merely one burst in the adventure where so many brilliant things are awaiting. Wait till life force energy really gets to the heart chakra of humanity, which is pending, you know, after it passes through this portal, this time period where we are, you know, doing this battling with our ancestral karma, when it passes beyond this and we can make peace with that, enough of us can to affect the whole, we move into the third center, the third portal, which is the empowerment center. And we find an empowerment in who we are starting to sweep. And then a love comes from that. And then a higher level of communication. A unity begins to build until we are connected with source again, because that is what this journey is all about. It's reconnecting, remembering and being in our bodies to do it. And I do believe that at one point we will see all those who seem to pass away in death. That is part of this awakening journey too, to recognize what illusions have held us back, have kept us from recognizing how big and amazing and galactic and grand we are. This human experience, experiment, journey has been one that we had to sink the lowest to experience. We had to go into the most density where the most pain could exist, but also with that, so many other beautiful things can be experienced too. So I know this is a, a challenging time for us a challenging time to, for me sometimes. Sometimes my heart just hurts so much from the, from what's going on that I just put myself under my covers for hours. And I say that to just confirm that whatever you need to do for yourself right now to self-nurture, to self-care, to take care of yourself. If you have an outburst at someone you love, take care of that. Apologize. Get Get into your heart with it. No, we're all going to have these. We're all trying to get through the blocks ourselves and together. And it's going to happen in our microcosm of our families and friends, just like it's happening in the whole, maybe on a different scale, maybe about different conversations or feelings, but it is happening and it's an opportunity 
for healing. It's an opportunity to love that about the journey too, even if it's difficult. So that's the invitation I feel we're all receiving is to keep the bigger picture in mind, know that we are on this grand awakening journey and that this is how it looks sometimes. This is how it feels sometimes to go through that. So thank you to all of you who are standing strong, holding space, making big shifts in your life, holding great positions of power where what you do matters. And I call you in the spirit and the universal life force to all those who are in positions of power or perceived power, that wisdom will be yours. And that all who are holding space with you, the love and the wisdom and the trust in this process, we will get through this together. And we will begin to understand the different roles that have needed to be played in order to facilitate this awakening. That if you remember correctly in the spine, there's both a positive and a negative pole, an ida and a pingala going up and down your spine that are moving through your chakras up to your forehead that activates. And it's only when these two forces combine does the zero point happen. So remember, both sides are important in the alchemy here. They both serve right now and as they reach heights of equal strength, they will cancel each other out to reveal the new world that we know is here. So stay the course, have faith. If you need support, please reach out and share this video if you feel like it's been helpful. Okay, I love you so much. Thank you.